What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com and you guessed it man, I got another one of these Kyosho Mini Z's. This time it's a rear wheel drive. So uh, this is the Kyosho Mini Z RW, <laughs> RWD word. So um, yeah, this thing's pretty awesome. Um, I'm liking it quite a bit. That's why I got a track. I actually got a lap counter now as well. But let's kind of go over what comes in the box here. So radio, again, this is the same radio I've been showing you guys anyhow. It is nice and I did, I'll put a link or whatever uh, so you guys can take it out of training mode if you desire, you wanna go faster. But here you go, a little foam grip that's on the wheel. You get the steering trim right there. You get channel four just for LEDs. I don't know if it's for anything else to be honest with you. Steering trim up at the very top there so if it pulls left or right. And then you do have your throttle trim just in case it starts to kind of roll on you by itself you can kind of back it down a little bit too and there's your little on and off switch there and then you just have your four AAA batteries at the bottom um, recommendation for the car because now that I've had the front wheel drive mini Z and I've been using these uh, speed house mini Z rechargeable batteries I will recommend them I actually got a really long life out of them just on one charge I, the charger I used was just a little energizer charger and it just you know trickle charges everything and it worked pretty well I got hours of runtime on on its um, what they call just a uh, training mode. So again, let's go over what comes in this box anyhow. Let me go what, show you what's on the box anyhow. So features, this little circuit board that's in there that's been newly designed apparently on that one. A little suspension that's on it. LEDs, okay, I have to go over this LED thing because I'm not really 100% sure they keep showing this stuff and then the bodies that I'm getting don't take LEDs. I know the Corvette does, I think it might even come with it, but as far as this car it does not accept LEDs on it. It does come with, you can, sorry, it doesn't come with it, but it's compatible with the gyro as well, and you get full ball bearings in it. If we flip it over, it's gonna be just the content I'm gonna show you that's already out of the box anyway, which uh, chassis, the radio, you do get the wheel wrench, pinion gear, pinion gears, also as far as the spare wheel nuts and the C-ring, and then you get some cones and stuff like that too. Now on the back side, it's gonna tell you about the training mode also. So right around there, we'll say training mode. Then you do have optional hop-up parts as well if you wanna customize it. Uh, I haven't done any of that kind of stuff as of yet because I'm still learning all this stuff anyway. So here's the cones that do come in the box, little tools and things. This one is, if I'm not mistaken, looking at the instructions, this is gonna, right now, we're gonna look at the bottom of this thing. You see that W that's right there? So it says W, so wide. It means that it's put these wheels out wide is what I'm gathering. And then here, this has that stamped on it as well. It'll say N. You, know, like you can't really see it there, kinda. It's down at the bottom, right around there. But anyway, it's for narrow. If you look at the instructions too, which I definitely recommend you guys do, uh, it'll, it talks about it a little bit more towards the, the back of the book. But just give that a read up. Anyhow, there's some other information here, just pulling it out of the box. Obviously, they're giving you instructions on how to pull it out, but if you got that far, you probably already pulled out of the box anyhow. But as far as taking off the body, they show you how to do that as well. Putting in your batteries, all that good stuff there. And the flip side of it as far as how you run it, and then they give you all the uh, great information in here as well. So let's get this thing body off of here. Take a look at what the chassis looks like. Let me show you how it is underneath it. As you can see here too, there's no like light buckets. Let me go ahead and show you this way. Flip it around here. You don't see any spots where you can put LEDs in, usually like right in there. So nothing and then nothing on the front too. So unfortunately you can't put any LEDs in this unless you really customize it to put them in there. But cool, I even like the little antenna that's there. That's pretty awesome. Nice little wing that's on there. Even the tow hook, if you look real closely, right there, that little red little thing. That's pretty cool. All right, now let's get into the chassis itself. So um, when I compress the, the suspension, it's a little bit stiff and it binds a little bit. Like it doesn't compress like I would like it to. So what I did with my other one is I went ahead and just put like a little bit of grease onto the shafts that are there and then just allowed it to kind of, the suspension to work a little bit nicer. It's gonna collect a little bit of dirt and stuff like that. You just have to kind of clean it up, but uh, that's something you can try. Maybe you guys can leave some recommendations as well. So yeah, you're gonna take the little cover off right there and then you can put your two double A's on this side. I'm sorry, triple A's. <laughs> See, I'm so used to again. And then you're just gonna pull this one off as well. 
just has like a little tab there you just right there you're gonna you just pull it up and it'll come off and that way you can put the other two AAA batteries in there and you can see as far as like the little suspension on it too little shock that's on there and then also on the rear of it I'll turn it see where it's kind of kind of rotating as well now as far as this differential goes I don't believe there's any grease in it or anything like that it very it just kind of runs really smooth and I don't know how much grease you'd want to stick in there it might uh, defeat the purpose of the, how it's going to handle too but let's go ahead and get this thing running a little bit kind of give you my thoughts as far as running it since I had a front wheel drive one we'll see how better or different this rear wheel drive handles so on I'm going to run this thing in training mode first of all so we can see how fast or slow this thing goes and then I'll take it out and we'll see how much of throttle I can give to it without it getting out of, out of control. So alright, training mode, full throttle anyhow, already banged into the corner, that's great. But I do have my finger all the way down on the throttle, so I just wanted to kind of see how it would kind of run at full throttle on training mode, that's pretty well. And you definitely have to go out pretty wide when you come off of that straightaway. All right, so that's that's cool. We got that. Let's take it, put it into ludicrous mode, full. Give it the old full squeeze with the power turned off, and then turn it back on, and then just release the throttle. Itchy, itchy. All right, so now we are in out of training mode. So let's give it just a full rip here. So definitely quicker. And the back end definitely wants to kick out on me. So I'll spin it around when I come around the, the straightaway. Let's spin it right here. So yeah, definitely has more power, baby. And it definitely doesn't have a lot of traction in the rear. Like the front wheel drive car, it's definitely forgiving. But when it comes to rear wheel drive, you're gonna have to be on the throttle control on that one. You gotta throttle management loose. So training mode might be the best right now for the track until they can figure out a, a better tire compound. Maybe some of you guys might know what's a better tire compound for the track than the stock right now. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. We'll catch you on the next one real soon. Peace.